Hey boys and girls, welcome to Basecamp Online. Thanks for taking time out of your busy week and out of your busy day to join us and learn more about becoming super fans, where you and I cheer each other on. Today in our lesson, we learn about going the extra mile, getting something from someone else when it was unexpected. I wonder how often you've gotten something from someone else that was totally unexpected. I know for me, there was a day when I needed a car really bad. My car had been worked on and worked on and we put so much money into it, it just wasn't worth it anymore. I know that you guys out on Basecamp Online probably have some toys where you've worked on it, tried to make it better, and it just didn't work anymore. Well, that's what it was like for my car. So I sat down and I prayed and talked to God and I said, hey God, I don't know what to do. Do I go buy a new one? Do I keep putting money into something that's not worth it anymore? Well, I just kind of left it and gave it over to God's hands. A couple days later, even though no one knew anything about the prayer request, except for my wife, Elizabeth, my friend, his name was Steve. He came up to me and he said, Steve, just the other day, I was doing my devotions and I was praying. I was talking to God. And I have this car that I don't need anymore. And it's a really nice car. I didn't want to sell it. And I didn't need to keep it. And God laid it on my heart to ask you if this is something you and your family could use. Now, that was totally unexpected. I couldn't believe what my ears were hearing. In answer to my prayer that no one knew anything about except my wife Elizabeth and God, I received a gift of kindness. All month long, you and I are talking about kindness. My friend Steve showed me kindness through the gift that he gave me that I had no idea that anyone would even know. Today we watch someone from the Bible share with you and I about how we can receive an unexpected gift, about going the extra mile. Right behind me right here is a boxing ring. In the boxing ring, the boxer needs to give his very best. He needs to keep on going. And at some points, he has to go the extra mile, giving more and more, giving his best, even when he feels like giving up. I can imagine some days in your life, you've been needing to give more and more, going further and further, giving the extra mile to maybe people in your house, maybe people at your school, or maybe to that math homework, that science homework where you've needed some cheering on. Today, sit back, relax, get ready, stand up, shout, get ready to have a great time because we're going to sing and we're going to praise God as we learn more and more about kindness and going the extra mile, giving when it's unexpected. You ready to kick it off? I am too. See you in just a second. My heart, I trust in you, your song I will sing forever. And there's one thing I know, you will never let me go, your love is with me. You're always around, you're
praise, we're gonna sing your praise, we're gonna sing your praises. Your promises are true, your promises are true, your promises are true. And I will trust in you, I will trust in you, I will trust in you. The Lord is my strength and my shield, my rock and my salvation. Welcome, Haley, to tell us about our Bible lesson and introduce us to more of how you and I can give kindness, going the extra mile to everyone around. We'll catch you at the end of today's lesson. Hello, super fans. My name is Haley. And if you're like me, you love all kinds of sports. And you love cheering on your favorite people. And you do this because you really love kindness. Kindness is showing others that they are valuable by how you treat them. One thing I've learned as a super fan is that kindness isn't the same for everyone. You have to use different kinds of cheering for different kinds of people. For instance, you don't want to use your air horn at the golf tournament. Uh, I learned that one the hard way. You have to cheer one way for a baseball team. Yeah. Another way for tennis. And then soccer. And even A lot of different ways to show kindness. So if you want to show someone they're valuable, you can cheer for them. Or like you'll see in today's story, you can give a little extra. I better get ready to cheer on the Bible story. Ah, yes. Good Bible story. Very well done. There you go. <laughs> The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story. Inspired by the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 41. Jesus was rocking the world. Everywhere he traveled, he told about the good news of God's kingdom. He called people to turn away from the wrong things they had done, and he healed sick people. Great crowds began to follow Jesus. So one day, he went up on a mountainside and sat down to share with them how God wants us to live. Blessed are those who are humble, they will be given the earth. God created us. He knows that we were designed to find joy and be at peace when we follow his ways, when we see and treat others the way God does. So, right in the middle of what's often called the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus said this. Suppose someone forces you to go one mile, go two miles with them. Okay, what? <laughs> To our ears, this probably sounds like a word problem, or maybe like our PE teacher telling us to go run laps. But the people listening to Jesus knew exactly what he meant. They all lived under the rule of the Caesar in Rome. The Romans had conquered many, many territories. Judea had become a little backwater province of the Roman Empire, and Roman soldiers were sent to keep order. Jesus and all the people he taught lived under Roman rule and they had to obey the law of Rome, including this one. I decree that any Roman soldier may force a Jew to carry his pack for precisely one mile. If you're thinking, what's the big deal? Think again. 
Being a Roman soldier was not for wimps. Sometimes the packs they carried weighed as much as 100 pounds. It took real grit and stamina to march for miles carrying that much gear. So it wasn't unusual for a soldier to call on some random person along the road to haul their pack for one mile or about a thousand steps. And if that person says no, well, it was considered an act of rebellion against the empire. Now, imagine you're an everyday, ordinary, average Joe, or Joseph. You're hiking along the road, maybe you're on your way to Jerusalem. When you look up, and in the distance, you see a Roman soldier heading your way. I don't know about you, but I think I'd turn right around and head back the other way. Or get off the road and head into a grove of olive trees. Or maybe just avoid eye contact at all costs. But maybe none of that works. The soldier stops, calls you out, and you have no choice but to look up. The soldier orders you to take his heavy pack and haul it along for a whole mile. You can't fight the Empire. So, you pick up the pack, and it's forward march. You're probably counting your steps the whole way. 58, 59, just waiting until you can drop that pack. 681, 682, holding out until you can get away from the soldier that sees you as scum. 998. 999, 1,000. <gasps> That's it. You're free. Roman law says that that soldier can't make you go more than one mile. So you can toss that pack like it's hot and run on home. <sighs> Except, Jesus says something else. Suppose someone forces you to go one mile. Go two miles with them. You had to carry that pack the first mile. You didn't have a choice but now you get to choose. And if you choose to take that pack another mile, it says a lot. It says, I matter. I'm valuable just like you, and I can make my own choices. But it also says you matter. This is a really heavy load you have to carry. And I'm gonna help you not because I have to, but because I choose to. Go the extra mile doesn't just mean go big or go home. Going the extra mile means that you make a choice to help someone, to be kind. You choose an action that says, I'm doing this for you because I want to, not because I have to. And I'm doing this because you are made in the image of God. And that makes you valuable to him and to me. So. You may not live in an empire, but you can still go the extra mile. Jesus' disciple Matthew wrote down one of Jesus' most famous sermons, sometimes called the Sermon on the Mount. Jesus taught so many things about kindness, like... Let your light shine so others can see it! Woo! Do not judge other And Jesus also said this, suppose someone forces you to go one mile, go two miles with them. That's where we get the phrase, go the extra mile. Huh. Nowadays, people probably aren't forcing you to go a mile, but the idea of what Jesus was saying still works. Going the extra mile means being kinder than you have to be. It means making your bed like you're told and cleaning the rest of your room, even if you aren't told. Sometimes it means doing something you know you should before you're told and with a good attitude, but you don't do it for the applause. You go the extra mile because when you follow Jesus, you should be pointing people to him. People can see how much Jesus loves them through the kindness that you show. So here's the one thing to remember today. Be kinder than you have to be. Show people kindness even when they may not earn it. Give them a little extra kindness they don't see coming. You can be their super fan. I did not 
see that coming. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> Woo. Welcome back, Basecamp Online. Thanks for sticking with us the whole way through. I can imagine that when you heard about Matthew chapter 5, verse 41, go in the extra mile, giving when someone didn't expect it. When you've got to keep on going, when it's so hard, you have to go one more step. That seems sometimes like it's impossible. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, you and I can trust God to show kindness, even when other people don't expect it, and especially they don't deserve it. It always brings me back to our first week's bottom line. No matter what's happening, no matter what happened in the past or what will happen in the future, God always shows kindness to his people. Let's remember today to go the extra mile, to give when it's unexpected. Thanks for joining us here on Basecamp Online. We look forward to the day that you join us on Basecamp Live. To receive a full experience of Basecamp, you need to come back to Bible Center Church, where we're excited, we're waiting, and we look forward to having a great time together. See you next week here at Basecamp Online or Basecamp Live. Bye-bye.